to teach you a get up. I uh, will learn it unweighted first, and then I'm going to demonstrate it with a kettlebell and then with a shoe. So in the get up, what we're doing is we're lying down on the floor, and you're going to roll to the kettlebell and then grab it through your left hand with your right hand over and you're going to pull to the back into what we call a floor press position. This is an extremely important nuance of the get up because you want to be sure that you're loading your lat properly and not overusing your front delt of your shoulder. So you're bringing the kettlebell safely into this 90 degree angle. From here, you're going to press the bell up with both arms your left leg is going to be bent and the right leg is straight. The right arm is going to come down about 45 degrees so that when you roll up from here, the shoulder lines up directly over the elbow. From here, you're going to sit tall and you'll notice that in this position, my arm is in line with my ear, the wrist is straight and the shoulder is packed. And from here, I'm going to switch the right knee underneath my right hip, come off the hand, windshield wiper the back leg so that we're in a 90 degree lunge position. I'm going to stand from here into a press position. Right leg goes back, lands safely on the knee, windshield wiper the back leg, hand to the floor, right leg comes through to your elbow, and roll back back into the floor press position and then we roll from there you'll notice that my vision was up on my fist or my kettlebell keeping my eyes there until the lunge pattern for safety you want to make sure you do that where your eyes go your body will follow so from here I'm going to demonstrate it with a kettlebell and then finally a shoe In that get up, you could hear me using the power of breathing. That's extremely important because when you force your exhale like that, it causes an abdominal contraction. That abdominal contraction leads to stabilization, which is what this get up is for. Now, I'm going to grab a shoe. I'll be right back. And now what you're going to see, if I'm doing this get up correctly, the shoe will never drop off my fist. And what that means is that 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 stabilization this get up teaches you is working throughout the whole body and the shoe will never drop. So it's a great way to practice at home if you don't have weight. So I'll start from this side. Roll to my shoe, roll to my back. Go ahead and place that shoe on your fist. So I'm not holding it, it's just resting on my fist. I'm gonna press the shoe up. Here's the power breath. The get up is a great therapeutic exercise that shows you where your weaknesses are, where your asymmetries and compensations are. It teaches you proper shoulder st stabilization and stabilization throughout the whole body. When you get very good at this, you become one resilient body. So don't, don't be afraid of the get up. Embrace your sticking points in it. Slow it down. It's to be done in uh, methodical movement and low repetition.